Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan, and today we got Dwayne with us. How's it going? Yeah, we got Dwayne. Dwayne's our neighbor. He's a retired mechanic. Well, you're you're picking back up again, so you're working again now, right? Yep. Lots of work out there for mechanics. Can't keep up with it. Anyway, he came over to help us. We're doing kind of an early thing. We did a video recently on how they extended the warranty on these vaults, right, man? Yeah. And we're super stoked about it and doing some things. But anyway, it's six year anniversaries coming up, and we wanted to kind of do a few things, little upgrades, a little tinkering, a little little fun stuff. So we're going to show you what we're doing here. All right. So we had a big uh, rainy day here in Cleveland. It's a good day to do this, right? Yeah. So we decided this was the old uh, guy we had out there on the front. And it was about the only emblem we could find that we thought was cool. It had the glow in the dark thing. But it was a couple years it was on there, started to corrode. We decided to replace it. And we got one that was black. Let's flip this bumper up. We just kind of got it on here. We had to take the whole bumper off to do it, but it wasn't that hard to do. Oh, well, look at that. So we got the black one on there now and also uh touched up the black paint and stuff like that now marco did that for us when we were gone on spring break uh we did spring break a couple weeks back right so marco uh who initially did the work on this he did that now he also uh let's kind of show back here <clears throat> he also painted this one because last time um oh here it is on the on the trunk here last time we forgot to do this one it was still gold so he made this one blue so now they both match we got the autobot thing there now we had autobots things on the rims but we had to get new rims because we talked about the fact that we cracked the rim on a pothole and we couldn't get new uh the same ones so we got new ones the only thing is is the old center hubs didn't fit there so we have new center hubs on the way and also little uh tire gauge so they're gonna be autobots they're gonna be autobot symbols and um, we got the new Autobot symbol on the front. So we're gonna get this all back together and we'll show you what it looks like. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we got everything all put back together. That looks so much better. It does, yeah. With the black. It looks neat. Just kind of matches. It's all brand new. We, we waxed it up real good before we put it on there and everything too. But uh, real happy with that. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Everything's back together, everything's cool. The other stuff is pretty much just some little details. We did take the strips off the doors, by the way, and Jack's thinking maybe you just leave them off. Yeah. But we're not exactly sure. We had to use a lot of goo gone to get the stuff off. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I think it, you know, it's something we tried. But now with the rims being completely black and not having the uh, chrome, I don't know that I like the chrome trim as much either yeah. you know what i mean yeah so and it's just been a crazy day it stormed about seven times while we were doing this right yeah, it got really sunny it's crazy yeah. we're in here like with our legs hanging out getting rained on but uh that's how it is here in cleveland so anyway we're we'll probably take a little commercial break here and when we get uh this will only be like 15 20 seconds for you guys uh, but for us it may be actually a couple weeks or even longer uh, before we get all the other details and everything done that we wanted to do and uh, probably get it all detailed up and everything um, and just kind of show show it all completely done for its six year anniversary and uh, so we'll be back in a second all right we're back guys it's actually been a couple of weeks since we shot the beginning of this video but uh, just took a while to get some of this stuff in and everything like that and also to get a nice day right man yeah it's been storming a lot, uh, like it always does in spring here in Cleveland. In fact, we just cleaned this, and there's already like, there's already pollen all over everything just from sitting out here for like 10 minutes. It's just how it is. Look at all these oak trees, just pollen everywhere. But anyway, we're going to take you guys through here and kind of show you everything. It's all pretty well done for its six-year anniversary. So we took it to the car wash. We got the little monthly deal. You can see the little Andy's car wash tag there. Uh, we always talk about Andy's Car Wash. Great place, fantastic. Now, one of the things we did, we talked about the fact that we got the Jolt um, figure from the Transformer movie. So he's hanging right there. We're going to go inside and see him, but he's hanging right there from the rearview mirror. Jack did an awesome job putting him up there with some fish line and that, so he looks awesome. The, the front, again, is all done and everything. We kind of showed that last time. Really, really, really happy how that all came out. Love the new... Autobot emblem, how it's black and matches better. And the new paint job Marco did and touched up the blue uh, bow tie, as they call it. So we got the new rims and everything figured out. And these are the center hubs. 
We did have to order a larger size because the smaller ones did not fit that we had on the previous rims. Again, you can go on Etsy and find tons of stuff like this. Honestly, the amount of artists that put stuff on Etsy is amazing. I mean, the stuff that you can find is incredible. So real happy with these. Just kind of had the Autobot head there in the center, uh, nice and glossy. Now we also got these. These, however, we got on Amazon and they're just little Autobot, um, you know, tire valve hubs. I think you can see that's kind of hard to small with the glare, but little kind of just a little added touch there. And they actually come with this, which is a Autobot keychain. And honestly, these were like six bucks. So you got four of them plus this, and this has, this fits around them and it's like a lock. And you could put it on there and like tighten them up. So I thought that was a nice little bonus to put on the key ring there. So all the four tires are done. They each have the valve. We did, again, kind of clean all that goo off there. Everything's off the sides. We're just going to leave it that way. Give you like a side shot there to see what it looks like. We're just going to do the black, you know, with... We don't want to do the side things anymore, really, at this point. We're just going to leave them off. If we do put new ones on, we're going to probably just do blue that match. Uh, or something like that. But at this point in time, we're gonna leave them alone. Um, so I just wanted to show that stuff. This came out great. Oh, forgot to show them. Forgot to show them last time, our matching umbrella, right? Yeah. You know, we like the blue, we like the blue theme. So we were at uh, <laughs> Mark's clearance aisle. Saw this amazing, like old school hook umbrella. And it was like $2.99 or something on the clearance aisle. Cause I, you know, when I'm taking stuff into my presentations, I don't want to get it all wet and everything. So keep that in the back. Look at this big string from the oak trees. Let's get rid of that. So this is still looking good. There's another one. Uh, this is still looking good. The bow tie back here came out real good. This is the original Autobot sticker that we put on here when we first got it. It's going on six years old. Still looks pretty good. Probably have to get a new one in about a year or so. Again, Etsy has a ton of these different colors, anything you want. We're going to stick with the chrome kind of situation. Just getting done doing all of the um, rims and everything on this side. It just looks so good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's much easier to clean than the old ones. The old rims were a little more intricate. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it just has a little bit of a different look. Lesson learned. Went with a more basic rim. Um, so I want to show you guys this stuff, too. But first of all, let's get in here and get a good video of Jolt. Right? So here's Jolt. Jack set him up. It's cool because he's got the metal, the metal sign because he holds the, the electric things. But anyway, here he is. He's totally awesome. He set him up like throwing up the horns like a metal dude. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. And he just looks fantastic like that. And he just hung him with some fish wire. So that's the back of him. We faced him forward. So if people are walking by and they could see him or whatever. Um, so that's the other thing. This is something that we've shown in the past. Now, this is kind of hard to get. Let me put the steering wheel down. This is kind of hard to see. This is the um, the power button thing. Let me see if it'll focus in on there. So that's like one of these kind of turning things. So you can see the power button and that. We can actually hit that. And uh, there we go. So you can see that's blue too, right? Let me put the, uh, close the door real quick here. Jack's finishing up out there. One of the things I wanted to show that I was pretty excited about was this. Really, really cool thing here. Let me turn the fan down. Is everything in here is blue. You know, the the you know the shifter's blue, the power button's blue. There's even blue lights at night that light up under here and everything. And we just wanted to keep that theme. And this this company we were really, really happy about. Again, on Etsy, some really cool people on there. Um, this is a gold you know, bow tie design that Chevy had. And this guy, we're very impressed with this guy. If you want to look him up, if you have a Chevy, his name's Cruz Vinyls on Etsy, and he's in PA, and he just mails these out. And check this out, guys. He actually sends two of them. Let me see if I can find the other one here. This was only like six bucks. And he sends you two of them, and it's a vinyl sticker that fits perfectly right on there. And he's got like tons of different colors. And we just thought, you know what, how cool, just everything in here is blue, let's just get rid of that gold. And he sends you an extra one too, and you just take it off, you clean it real good, and you just take it off and you stick it on there. And they look fantastic. It's just one of those little touches that for a couple bucks, it totally seems worth it. So he sends two of those in the mail, it's like $5.99, no 
uh, shipping because he just throws it in an envelope and a stamp and mails it to you. It literally showed up like two days later, like after I clicked on it. So if you have a Chevy and you want to customize this a little bit, uh, really, really cool idea. Didn't that come out cool, man? Yeah, I think it looks pretty neat. You can't really tell it's a sticker. No, no, you can't. I mean, I'm yeah, going to try to... And then you don't have the Chevy logo anymore, so everything just is like black, silver. And Consistent. You could see if I tilt it. See how there's a little bit of an angle in the middle, and it just bends down right in the middle. It's just one of those little details that makes it so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Just like Joel hanging here. So anyway, yeah, check him out. And uh, we're just, uh, we're thrilled. We're thrilled at how this all came out. Got all the little details going. Look at the pollen already. It's just piling right right there. Just piling already. We're going to put it in the uh, garage and, uh, you know, um, get it plugged in here and everything. But, uh, yeah, we're really happy how it came out. Super sharp for six years old. A little bit of corrosion here and there and some of the cracks. That's why when we clean it, we always open everything. Uh, Jack's real good about helping. Gets in the door jams and and gets in the, the, the wheels and the rims and everything. But, uh He's excited because you're getting your temps here soon. You're going to start learning how to drive. Yeah. And uh, I'm just, I'm thrilled at how, how it's doing. And, uh, uh, and again, we'll put a link for the last video we did. We did the whole warranty extension video, right? Yeah. We talked about the fact that it's now warrantied these volts. The, I believe it's 16, 17, 18, 19. We'll put a link in the description. They are now 150,000 miles on the battery and electrical starting battery components. And or um, either 15 years or 150,000 miles. So really cool. So, um, you know, hey, we're just thrilled about it. We know there's a big Volt community out there and, and people want to know about them. And a lot of people are looking for an option that don't want to go fully electric yet. And this is a fantastic option. There's no doubt about it. So if you, if, if you like them, they're supposed to last two to 300,000 miles. Check out the video we did a, a few weeks back on this when we talked about that. We'll put a link right in the description. And uh, check out some of the uh, awesome things about the Volt. Um, there is some other things that we talked to Dwayne about. We're going to be talking about some of the little quirks that these cars have and addressing them early and everything like that uh, coming up. There in the sun, you can see Jolt there pretty good. <laughs> He looks cool, doesn't he? Yeah, he's neat. Just throwing up the metal sign there, right in the middle of the thing. I love it. Look, even the uh, the steering wheel, we got the blue cover on the steering wheel. I love it. So, great job, man. Awesome job. He's got his skateboard as a as a seat when he's doing the rims, knocking it out. And there's, uh, you know, there's Pam. Pamela's, uh, we talked about the fact that she got the 4XE. That's the plug-in hybrid. Um, Jeep and I don't know if we've ever really shown it before, but she's digging it. It just it had a lot of quirks to work out and um, well, There's been a lot some, of recalls. Yeah, Chrysler just had some computer problems and so you know The first time you do something with the computer, you never know how it's gonna go. So it was new software right. and stuff and it's, it seems to be working. She's had to have several software updates and recalls to come in and do that. That was kind of annoying, but Again, it was the first, you know, time they did it, uh, but she likes it and she digs it and it's got the convertible top. So the whole thing kind of just goes back instead of like being removed, but you can take off these parts and the doors and everything. We have not done that. We just haven't had that good of weather to do it, but this is the uh, kind of thing. She can just hit a button and, and open the whole top up. That's kind of neat too. She's got all the ducks, all the Jeep ducks there. People give her. The big Dollywood duck right there. We got in Dollywood too, which was neat. But anyway, she's going to probably be trading this in and getting a new one. She, like we mentioned in the other video, she wants to do like a purple or something fun. But, you know, anyway, there you go, guys. Totally awesome update. We're loving it. We absolutely dig the Volt. We're hoping it continues to last um, when we take it in for its six-year checkup here in the next couple of months. We'll talk about, uh, you know, do updates and talk about things and we'll do continue to do videos on it because uh, people seem very interested in this car. It was, a, it was a one of a kind for a long time, right, man? Yeah. And you might end up driving this a lot real soon here. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.